OpenAI's ChatGPT was finally released at the end of November, and since a couple of weeks, everybody's talking about it. So today I want to present to you seven different business ideas that anyone can start by using ChatGPT. So you're not going to need any skill or knowledge about AI. And for some of them, I will also offer a more complex alternative by using the API that OpenAI made available. If you don't know what it is, an API is an application programming interface. And if you develop an application, you can use this API to make use of the power of ChatGPT in your own application. Let's say, for example, that you have a website that you use for e-commerce. And in this website, you have a chat for customer service. Using the API from OpenAI, you can basically connect ChatGPT to your application and you can use it to talk to your customers. Or another example is what Lensa did. You've probably seen on TikTok or Instagram, so many people now posting animated digital version of their selfies and they were basically using Lensa. But the interesting thing is that whoever created Lensa didn't have to develop the artificial intelligence themselves. Instead, they just used the API made available by the Stable Diffusion AI engine, which is essentially free to use for anybody. So Lens is making millions in revenue every year, not because they created something new, but because they made AI available to the people in a simple way. And this is, in my opinion, one of the most important things to understand if you want to start a business. And that is that you don't need to reinvent the wheel, but instead you just have to look for something that is already available and find a better, more comfortable and clever way to present it to the public. The first business you can start, and I've seen literally hundreds, if not thousands of people doing it on Facebook and getting clients, is a CEO agency. Now, don't get scared by the name. Most CEO agencies are just a one-person freelancer looking for customers online. So you can start a business like this without having to create a big corporation. If you're not familiar with CEO, CEO means search engine optimization. And it's a process of optimizing the content of a website so that Google is going to rank it in search engine results for specific keywords. For example, if I write how to find the best ETF to invest in, Google is going to give me a series of results which it believes to be the best results for my search query. And it does that by ranking the pages based on keywords. Now, there are many ways to rank higher on a particular keyword, but one of them is to create a lot of content on that topic. So through ChatGPT, you can literally create 50, 100 posts on a particular topic, refine them a little, and you suddenly have a lot of content online that will hopefully help you rank higher on that particular keyword. I said refine them a little because there is a particular limitation with AI-generated content, but we'll talk about it in a bit. But since, as I always say on my channel, the best opportunities are on the internet, every day thousands of new websites are created and all these people, everybody needs to optimize the CEO of the website. And this is where you can come into play. With a CEO agency, you could offer to take care of the CEO of the websites. And all you need to do is to ask ChatGPT, for example, can you write me a copy regarding investing in ETFs where you use sector ETF as a target keyword? So as you can see, ChatGPT is going to give you a first draft and all you need to do is to go more into details. For example, you can ask for the most important factors to consider when choosing a sector ETF. And going on like this, you can basically build a full page. However, it must be said that you can't rely 100% on AI-generated content for SEO purposes. Instead, you need to work on it yourself a little. And this is because Google is able to recognize if a content is 100% AI-generated. Moreover, you need to try to provide some kind of additional value to the content because AI will just rephrase the content that is already available online. All that said, ChatGPT is still a great starting point for getting ideas and still you're going to be able to save yourself 70 or maybe 80% of the work. The second business is similar to the first one, but the goal is different. And this is a sales copywriting company. The global e-commerce market totaled $5.7 trillion in 2022 and is expected to reach $6.51 trillion by 2023, showing us how big of an industry it is. Basically, copywriting is the process of creating the words for any text, blog, or web page, and in particular, sales copy or sales copywriting regards landing page content of products and services or product descriptions. So for example, a client comes to you and says he needs a copy for a phone cover. You just write in ChatGPT, can you create me a website copy for a phone cover in nature-friendly silicon? And voila! the text is produced within a couple of seconds. There is a huge market here because so many people still don't know that AI exists and it's so easily available to the public that you can literally use this competitive advantage or moat, as Warren Buffett calls it, to offer better results in a much quicker time. In case you want to use an AI software that is created exactly for this purpose, you can use copy.ai. Copy.ai is a content generator that is already used by big companies like Microsoft and eBay and is an only one solution for basically any kind of copy. Using it is really easy. You just 
just enter your copyright project, give a little bit of context, and you can even choose the tone that you want a copy to have. After you get the results, you can choose what you like, edit it, and publish it. So you basically have two options here. Either you start a copywriting agency and you use ChatGPT or copy.ai, or if you know how to build a website or an application, you can use OpenAI's API, plug it into your website and sell the service yourself. The third business is dropshipping. So if you're able to create great product pages for other sellers, why not sell products yourself? I don't know how many of you know dropshipping, but basically you sell products without having to manufacture them, buy them, hold them as inventory or ship them. I won't go too much into detail on dropshipping in this video. I talked about it in other videos of mine if you're interested, but basically if you want to use artificial intelligence to help you with dropshipping, you have two options. The first one is using ChatGPT. And what you do is simply asking the chat to write a copy for you. And it's usually important to give some context. For example, you don't simply write can you create a website copy for a metallic water bottle? But instead you write something like water bottle with colorful designs and an exchangeable lead. And here we go. Within a couple of seconds, you get a great copy that you can use for your product. The second option is to use an all-in-one tool called Sidekick.ai. Sidekick doesn't simply create a copy for you. It creates the whole heart of dropshipping, which is a landing page. And if you know how dropshipping works, you know that you have to test several products to find successful ones. And just creating a landing page for a single product may take you between a couple of hours and days. So this website allows you to literally create a full, well-designed, copy-optimized landing page within a couple of minutes. All you have to do is type in the name of the product, provide a few images, and Sidekick will create a landing page for you within a matter of seconds. All right, business number four is a blog. Each one of us has passions or things we like to talk about. So why not write about them in a blog? Now, there are many ways to earn from a website and one of them is advertising. But in order to do that and to raise the chances of bringing more traffic to the website, you need to generate a lot of content. So a blog is a thing that I did myself and I can assure you that creating content is a really energy intensive activity. But thanks to AI, you're able to generate content within a matter of seconds and you just need to retouch it to make it original. So for example, let's say that you wanna start a blog about dogs. The first thing I would do is to go to my friend ChatGPT and ask, hey, can you give me ideas on interesting topics for my blog about dogs? And the chat will give you a lot of ideas and all you have to do is to go more into details and ask for specific copies. For example, can you write me a copy for a blog post about tips for traveling with your dog? And there you have it. The business number five is creating a YouTube channel. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that a YouTube channel is an easy thing to do, but one of the challenges that you have is coming up with content ideas and content scripts. I personally haven't used ChatGPT so far for this reason, but I've been playing with it a little bit to try to understand what's the potential for YouTube scripts. And I was actually impressed by it. ChatGPT could be your resource for finding new ideas for videos and also to make a first draft of a script. For example, if you have a channel about artificial intelligence, you could ask something like, can you give me ideas for creating a YouTube video about AI? And if there's an answer you like, you can even ask it to give you a script structure for one of the options. And by asking more questions related to its answers, you can go more and more in detail about a single section and you can literally get a whole script to start with. I think it's pretty impressive and in the future, the further AI will be developed, the easier it will be for content creators to get new ideas. So if this is your path, start now. And start maybe by helping other creators like me. You can subscribe to my channel and drop a beautiful like to this video for the YouTube algorithm. I'm serious, you would really make my day. Thank you. All right, business idea number six is to create a transcribing app. There are websites like Scribi.com that literally pay you for transcribing content from videos or registrations, so the demand is there. And in fact, if you navigate through Scribi's website, you see that many companies need these services. For example, for transcribing meetings, speeches, dissertations, and so on. So you could think about creating an app and using the API from OpenAI to use the Whisper service in your application. Whisper is another service from OpenAI, and if you're curious, you can just go to the bottom of the OpenAI webpage and you'll find it on the left. I know there is a little more work involved here, but I think it's really worth it to understand how to integrate the API 
into an app and also how to build the front-end app because this API has so much to offer. The last business is for lovers of movies or novels. Sylvester Stallone wrote the screenplay for Rocky in 1975 and yes, maybe it's true that it took him three and a half days, but times have changed now and stories are more complex, harder to write and competition is higher. And same goes for books. It's hard to create a great story like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones, but maybe there's a solution to open a door for you to a world that you never thought of stepping in. ChatGPT is pretty impressive in creating incredible storylines and you can get hundreds of ideas within a matter of minutes. For example, chat, my friend, can you give me an idea of a fantasy story that involves an ex-soldier in a post-apocalyptic world that is looking for his daughter? Check this out. I mean, this is incredible. It really gives you a story with details. It even creates the names and the events. And if this doesn't impress you, remember that you just need to ask more questions in order for it to develop the story furthermore. For example, can you give me an idea for a first scene that is shocking and unexpected? And there you go, more details and you could go on and on and it basically writes the story for you. Now, I think that we are just at the beginning of something that will literally change our lives and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it develops in the future. I do have my worries, call me paranoid, but I share Elon Musk's idea that AI has to be developed carefully. But now we are not at that point. We're in a really thrilling moment of development where AI is there to free our mind of repetitive work and creative work. So the choice is yours. You can use ChatGPT to simplify your work or you can even create an API-based application and this is, in my opinion, one of the biggest potentials. Because if you find a people's need and solve it through an application that is AI-driven, you are right now in a new era and there are so many fields that still haven't been touched. Well, guys, I'm glad you watched till this point. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider subscribing to my channel and dropping a beautiful like to help me with the YouTube algorithm. I wish you a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.